Well, hello again, Pokey people. Lovely to see you. So we're still in the midst of the great Pokemon trading card game drought of 2018, and it's a bit painful, but I actually had a lot of fun opening those first 10 Sun and Moon packs, so um, I got another 10 packs, so we can do round three. Boom! Ta-da! We have 10 more packs of each, because why not? Go big or go home. We're going to open up 10 packs of sun, 10 packs of moon, and let's see which one is going to be the winner. Now, last time we did moon first. We'll go back to sun first this time around. Now, in the first two rounds, sun did thoroughly beat moon, and we really can't complain because we had some pretty awesome pulls from that. But let's see if Moon can make some sort of an underdog comeback today. We got a Kukui, um, Bounce Sweet, I think its name is, a Lolan Diglett, a Zubat, and an Alolan Doug Trio for our first Hollow. I could see the border there and I was like, don't even you start with me, son. Like, right off the bat, something crazy. I don't know if I'm ready for that. I don't know if my poor little heart can take it. And speaking of things my poor little heart can't take, we are just about to have the new set start, start, drop, release, you know what I mean. Um, it's super burst impact, which is really hard for me to keep track for some reason, but um, it is coming out September 7th. I have pre-ordered one box from Yodabashi Camera because I happen to be there anyways, doing some other things, and it just made sense. Why not pre-order one box? And then I plan on going to the Pokemon Center first thing in the morning on September 7th before I go to work. It's going to be a busy day because I'll have to go to the Pokemon Center, try and buy a box, go to Yodobashi, go to Yodobashi Camera, pick up the box I pre-ordered, and somewhere in between all that, hey Psyduck, I have to film opening a box for you guys, get the video processing, and then go to work. So it's going to be hectic, but what I'm thinking I will do, as much as I know a few people out there really, really hate when I split boxes into two videos, what I'm thinking I'll do is get the box, first box I will open in two different videos, but I'll upload one as soon as possible, like if I can, I can put it up before I go to work and get the other processing so that it will be ready to go when I get home from work. But we'll see. It's just a thought in my head. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't move that Eevee. We have a Poliwhirl. Well, we are four packs in and we've got two hollows so far. So they are neck and neck once again. I mean, Solaleo and Lunala, they are like basically kind of the same Pokemon in a sense. I mean, they both evolved from Cosmoam, Cosmog. So, you know, it makes sense that they'd be pretty evenly matched. But somebody has to come up as a winner. Uh, Passimian, that's your name, right? Metapod, Wishy Washy, and a Crocodile? That's another one. Blah, blah, blah. Another one of those ones I struggle with because there's like the three stages and I know they all have to do with it being a play on a crocodile and being a crook because he has a little like bandito mask going on because he looks like he's going to go rob some banks or something. But I just can't keep track of it. And, you know, that's just a thing. My brain does. That's also going to be fun on um, release day, trying to keep track of names of Pokemon that I do not know or maybe haven't seen in a while, like you! Trumbeak? I don't know. He's Toucan Sam. I mean, we can all just agree on the fact that he's a Toucan, and if you have a Toucan, you have to name him Sam, even though he's a lot angrier looking than I remember our Fruit Loops mascot ever being, but hey, is he still the mascot of Fruit Loops, by the way? I have not had Fruit Loops in a long, long time. I really miss crazy colorful sugary cereals. Wow, we have not seen something crazy for a little bit. That's okay. I'm sure we will get at least one GX by the end of this. I mean, usually works out not too badly for us. And if not, you know, that's okay. We still had some fun, you know, opening the packs and doing the things with the stuff. <laughs> All right. So Moon decided to give us a Tauros because, you know, we haven't seen a Tauros in a while. Oh my goodness. Uh. So actually, um, the sun packs came from Yodobashi Camera, so they would have all come from one box, most likely. I mean, it's possible they're from two different boxes, but they most likely came from one box. Whereas the moon packs are from the Pokemon Center, so I just grabbed a whole bunch randomly. Not a whole bunch, I grabbed ten packs. So 
who knows what we're getting. We could be getting packs from the box that the other ones came from. Sun just does not quit. It's like, you know what? You're going to try and show me up with a Tauros? I'm going to throw an Espeon at you. So, um, we have one GX from each side. But Sun has two hollows, whereas Moon has only one. So Sun is just determined to stay in the lead. Solgaleo is not going to accept defeat. He just won't take it. Even if it would be like one loss out of three. But, you know, I guess he, he's got his pride. Because he's a lion. The lions in a group are a pride! Oh my god! Okay! Well, I said something about having nothing crazy happen, and then everything just got crazy. Um, so we got double Tauros, but obviously this is a rainbow rare. Oh my goodness. Well, um, I, 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 I don't know, should we call it this soon? We still have five more packs of each to open, but I think Moon might have just won. <laughs> Holy cow! Um, I should have done this series a lot sooner, even if this might be the last video of this. I don't know, maybe I need to do more. I was just thinking, like, this is kind of a nice way to open some packs and have a chat and have some fun while we wait for the new set or the drought to end, but this is actually turning out to be really, really fun, and I kind of want to do more of it. I mean, if I could get more sets, I would do more, like, set versus set, because um, up until the point where they decided every month we get a new set, we were getting two sets every other month, and they were, like, complementary. So it could be really fun to go and have those sets battle each other, but they're not available. So maybe we'll do some sun versus moon, or maybe we won't. I don't know. But if you have an opinion about it, I'd love to hear it down in the comments below, because, you know, I like doing what you guys like, and trying to make you guys smile, and give you something fun to watch while you do other stuff, like maybe you're eating a pizza, or having some ice cream, or, you know, doing some knitting or crochet. I certainly hope you're not doing anything too crazy, like, you know, really complicated embroidery with a sharp needle, because then my shouting, or exciting pulls could become dangerous. I don't know where my brain is at right now, but that's a crowbat. <laughs> Sun still is trying to make a comeback. They're just like, I see you, Hyper Rare. I'm going to throw some more hollows in there. I feel like I'm rhyming a lot. Am I? You, you guys need to call me out on it if I am. I swear it's not intentional. But sometimes it just kind of happens. And I don't know. It's weird. It feels weird. I hear the words come out funny, and I'm just like, what is going on with this ditto brain? It's an Alolan muck. Wow. <laughs> I forgot that hollow existed. This... As, of course, a big part of the fun with this is going back and seeing cards I have not seen in a long time, or finding something like Hyper Rare Tauros, or the gold card from the round two video, because those are cards I've never had before. I mean, I've probably seen them in the shops, but I've certainly never held one in my hands to have in my collection, so that was exciting. And who knows? Maybe there'll be more excitement. I don't know. You don't know. Nobody knows. We're just plowing along here. Doop, boop, doop, boop, boop, boop. I'm slowly running out of things to say. <laughs> Sometimes the little brain goes on an incredible ramble or a rant, but other times it just kind of slowly putters to a halt. And that's okay, because we've got two packs left of each, so let's see if in the last two packs of Sun it can make an epic comeback to fight against Tauros. But I don't know, if we don't get something to beat it, and Moon wins, then we kind of have to do a round four, right? Because, I mean, technically Sun has won the first two rounds, but, you know, this is a pretty epic battle, I think. That's a lot of hollows from Sun. I don't know, maybe I should have come up with a point system for this. It's really just for, you know, my amusement and hopefully your amusement as well, but maybe points would have been helpful. <laughs> I don't know, too late now. You know, hindsight is twenty twenty. And if I was any good at planning for the future, I would have, like, a stock of unopened sealed boxes and packs in my apartment, just for the sake of this drought. He just evolved. Wow. <laughs> All right. We only have one pack left of each. <gasps> Let's see. Can Sun make some sort of a comeback and beat Moon in the very last moment? I don't know. I don't think anything can really beat the round two pull, but hey, who knows? It can certainly try. 
We've got a Hariyama. Um, Skarmory. <laughs> I saw the Japanese name, Eamudo, and my brain just died. Um, not a Raccoonade, Dewpiter. Passimian, and we finish with a Timer Ball. Alrighty then. Well, last pack for Moon. I'm pretty sure we're not going to get another crazy super rare card, but who knows? Like I said, they have been shuffling things up at the Pokemon Center, so really anything is possible right now. And let's just see what we get. All right, we have Energy Retrieval. Uh, Corsola, whose Japanese name is Sunny Go, which is just really cute. A Lulin Grimer. Uh, Carvana. And you. I want to say Gigalith, but I feel like I always get its name wrong. All right, let's organize ourselves here. Uh, uh, uh. So, from the sun side, we have Serena. I couldn't remember her name. <laughs> Crobat. Um, maybe a Crocodile. Something like that. Alolan Dug Trio and Espeon GX. So, four hollows and one GX on the sun side of this opening. But I'm pretty sure our clear winner, in my opinion, here is the moon side, where we have maybe Gigalith, Alolan Muck, Poliwhirl, Tauros, and Tauros. I still can't believe that happened. <laughs> in three videos, we've managed to get two Laprases and two Tauroses, and then a Rainbow Rare Tauros. I don't know what's going on, but I'm really upset that I still don't have a Tauros in Pokemon Go now. Meep. Well, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm certainly enjoying this, and I'm very tempted to get more. But we are very, very close to release day of the new set, Super Burst Impact. So let me know if you would like to see more Sun vs. Moon. Maybe I could do it every now and again, spread it out between other things. Or, you know, if you're tired of this not quite a throwback because it's not that old, but it feels kind of old now, then, you know, that that's cool too. Let me know. I'm always happy to hear your opinions on things. And I see some dust on Pikachu. I really need to get a lint roller. Anyways, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you again soon in the next one. Bye bye